Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. It is always fun to learn maths through activities. So today we have come up with an interesting and creative activity for you involving rational numbers. But before starting with this activity, let me tell you that we have made many more such maths art integrated activities, projects and working models on our channel Learning Notebook. So do check out our channel. For this activity, we need few colorful A4 sheets, a black marker pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a ruler, a compass and nut and bolt. Aim of this art integrated activity is to make a working model to learn properties of rational numbers. Properties are closure property, commutative property, associative property and distributive property. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Now students, what are rational numbers? Numbers which can be written in the form of P upon Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0 are called rational numbers. Let's see few examples. Minus 4 upon 8, minus 3 upon 8, 0, 3 upon 8 and so on. Such numbers are called rational numbers. Now let's start with our activity. In the first step, Take the green sheet of paper and draw a circle of 15 cm as shown here. Then carefully cut out this circle using pair of scissors. Next, take the orange colored sheet and again draw a circle of 15 cm on it and then carefully cut out this circle. In the next step, let's take a blue colored sheet and then draw a circle of 10 cm on it. Then students, cut out this circle with the help of pair of scissors. Next, take the red colored sheet and draw a circle of 5 cm on it and then cut out this circle. Now take this red circle and fold it vertically as well as horizontally and then write the names of all the four properties. Closure property, commutative property, associative property and distributive property. Now take the blue circle and fold it vertically as well as horizontally. Now place the red circle on the top of this blue circle in such a way that their center match. Now for closure property, we will first write the definition of closure property. Sum of two rational numbers is also a rational number. That is a plus b equals to c. So here we are adding two rational numbers a and b and the sum c is also a rational number. Next let's move to commutative property. Commutative property states we can add rational numbers in any order. In general form it is written as a plus b equals to b plus a. Here on left hand side we have added rational numbers a and b and on right hand side we have changed their order and added b plus a. But in both the cases their sum remain the same. So this is about commutative property. Next is associative property. 
So first let's write the definition of associative property. It states any two numbers can be added first. It doesn't matter which two rational numbers are added first. Their sum remains the same. General form of associative property is a plus b plus c equals to a plus b plus c. So here on left hand side we have added b and c first and on right hand side we have added a and b first but in both the cases their sum remains the same. So this is associative property. Now last property is distributive property. In general form this property can be written as a into b plus c equals to a into b plus a into c. So this is distributive property of multiplication over addition and according to this property multiplication can be distributed over addition. So students now we have prepared two circles for our rational number project. Now let's take the green circle. So this is the green circle. Fold this circle also vertically as well as horizontally and now place both the blue as well as red circle on this green circle and make sure to match their centers. Now students let's add more details to these properties. First let's start with closure property. So let's write rational numbers are closed under addition, multiplication and subtraction. So we are writing here on this green circle. Okay. So students what does this line means? Rational numbers are closed under addition, multiplication and subtraction. What does this mean? It means if we add two rational numbers their sum will also be a rational number. Similarly if we multiply two rational numbers their product will also be a rational number and in the same manner if we subtract two rational numbers their difference will also be a rational number. Students if you have space on the green circle you can also write not closed under division. It means if we divide two rational numbers it is not necessary that the answer will also be a rational number. Now let's write more about commutative property. On the green circle we will write rational numbers are commutative under addition and multiplication. It means that while adding two rational numbers we can change their order. Then also their sum remains the same. Similarly while multiplying two rational numbers even if we change their order their product remains the same. Now if you have more space on your green circle you can write not commutative under subtraction and division. Next let's write about associative property. On the green circle we will write rational numbers are associative under addition and multiplication. It means while adding rational numbers it doesn't matter which two rational numbers are added first. Similarly for multiplication while multiplying two rational numbers it doesn't matter which two rational numbers are multiplied first. Their sum remains the same. So if you have space on your green circle you can also write rational numbers are not associative under subtraction and division. Now let's move to distributive property. In the blue circle we have written distributive property of multiplication over addition. In the same way we have distributive property of multiplication over 
subtraction. So let's write the general form of this property in the green circle. A into B minus C equals to A into B minus A into C. Now all the three circles are complete. So next let's work on the last circle that is orange circle. Now take the orange circle and fold it vertically as well as horizontally. Then using scissors cut out one of its quadrant. Students just make sure that you do not cut till the end. Cut it as shown in this picture. Now take one A3 size cardboard and paste a yellow chart paper on it as shown here. In the next step, take the three circles and place them on the top of each other on this cardboard. In the next step, take the orange circle and place it on the top. Now match the centers of all these four circles and then screw nut and bolt on the cardboard. Lot of students ask me in the comment section how to screw this nut and bolt. Students, you have to make a small hole in the center of all these four circles as well as in the cardboard. And then you have to screw this nut and bolt in these holes. Now this working model to learn properties of rational numbers is ready. You can rotate these circles as shown here. If you are a teacher, this working model will help you to teach students the properties of rational numbers in a fun way. And if you are a student, this activity is very useful for you to make Maths Art Integrated Project on Rational Numbers. Thanks for watching. Do watch my other videos and share my channel and my videos with your friends and family. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.